Welcome to Edumate. Today we'll be going through question 1 to 10 from the 2016 Year 7 Numeracy Non-Calculator paper. Alright, let's get started. Question 1. Zara's home is shown on the map. Each day Zara rides 4 kilometers east and 2 kilometers north from home to school. In which cell on the map is Zara's school? Okay, so first of all, 4 kilometers east and 2 kilometers north. So east to the right, north is going up. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And we know we just go one space across because of this. And 2 kilometers north. 1, 2. So the school is here. So what do we do? First of all, we go across and we get to G and then we do the numbers. Three, so G, three. Next question. Anna opens a, opens a savings account. She deposits $4 in the first week. She then deposits twice as much money each week as she as she did the previous week. The total amount of money in this account is, okay, so is it always odd, is it always even, or is it sometimes odd and sometimes even? So let's take an example, so $4 plus next week when it doubles it becomes $8, and then and it doubles again it becomes $16. So let's say 4 plus 8. That will give us twelve dollars. So that's still even. Four plus eight plus sixteen. That will give us. So that's the whole thing. That will add on another sixteen, and that will give us twenty-eight dollars. So we, even if we try a couple more, we will figure out that it's always even. Next, question three. Lisa plans to give one quarter of her twenty books to her sister. How many books will she give her sister? So one quarter of means multiplied. So times the multiply sign, then 20 books. You can just write 20, or you can imagine there's a one in the denominator. So what do we do here? One times 20 is 20. Four times one is four. 20 divided by four is 5. Next question. At the zoo, Tran saw 8 koalas, 16 kangaroos and 12 emus. In the tables below, X represents 4 animals. Which table correctly shows the number of animals Tran saw at the zoo? So this is the important part here. 1X represents 4 animals. So in terms of koalas, we will have 2Xs. Because 4 divided by 8, sorry, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the kangaroos will have 4x's. Because 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So the emus will have 3x's. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this has 2x's. This has 4 for the kangaroo. And 3 for the emu. So this is our answer. Question five. Joe measures a distance to be five meters and 12 centimeters. Which of these shows how Joe can write this measurement in meters? So first of all, we know straight away that we're gonna start with the five. So this is wrong and this is wrong because they start with six. And we also know that one meter equals to 100 centimeters. And using the uh, if we divide both by 100, so 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.01 meters, and 100 divided by 100 is 1 centimeter. So 1 centimeter equals 0 0.01 meters. Therefore, 12 centimeters will equal 0 0.12 meters. And that would give us this answer, because... 
five is just can be that can be written as this plus zero point one two and that just becomes five point one two meters. Question six. A bag contains fifteen beads that are either red or yellow. So there's only two options, remember. The probability of randomly removing a red bead is 20%. What is the probability of randomly removing a yellow bead? So since there are only two options, we simply, so the entire probability has to add up to 100%. 20% is for the red bead, so we take that away. What's 100 minus 20? It is 80. Next, question seven. Point P is translated down four units. So that's telling us this point goes down for one, two, three, four. New point is here. So what are the coordinates of the new position of point P? First of all, we do the x-axis first. So horizontally, we go across first. One, two. So two has to start with a two. So it's either A or B. It's not going to be this, and it's not going to be this. And next we have the y-axis, so we go down by 1. So 2, negative 1. This is going to be your answer. Question 8. The heights in centimetres of children on the tennis team are as follows. So these are the numbers. I won't read them all out. You can all see them. So select the dot plot that correctly displays the data. So the best way to do this is look at 119. That occurs twice. Now look at the options. Here 119. There's no dot there, so that's obviously wrong. Here 119. So according to this dot plot, 119 only occurs once, but that's wrong as well. We already know that because 1, 2. And here is the only one which can possibly work. Here, 119 occurs twice. You can check the rest of the numbers if you'd like, but you already know the answer. Because this is the only option which, will, which works for 119. Question 9. The dogs at a dog show are weighed. All the weights were then recorded in a graph. So, number of dogs on the y-axis, mass in kilograms on the x-axis. So all we need to do is we fi figure out the number of dogs. So Three dogs weigh 20 kilos, one dog weigh 21 kilos, two dogs weigh 22, one dog weigh 23 kilos, three dogs weigh 24, one weigh 25, and three weighed 26. Then we add up all the numbers that we just wrote down. Three plus one plus two plus one plus three plus one plus three. If you do that properly, you will get a sum of... Let's do it together anyway. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus 3 is 14. So 14. 14 dogs at the dog show. Question 10. Holly placed a piece of paper along a line of symmetry on her star. How many points does Holly's whole star have? Okay. So let's say this is the first point, second point, third point. That part's easy. Now we need to do a quick drawing of the rest of it. So symmetry means a mirror image. Not going to be a great drawing, but it will do the job. So let's count the rest of the points. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's eight? There it is. Eight is your answer. Okay, so that's all for now. You can find the solutions and explanations to the other questions in this paper in one of my other videos. Thank you.